Phil, we've been remarkably lucky tonight to have 14 of 15 candidates show up. They're obviously all intent on mm. focusing their their point of view on you, the audience, the voter. We do have some time left, um, and I'm just curious as to how, uh, do you feel that you'd like to ask some questions of particular candidates? Do you, does anybody have a question that you'd like to ask of a particular candidate? We have, we have like 15 minutes left. All right, uh, Jimmy Facetti, you have a question. Can you yeah, ask it loudly? It's a ge uh, gen uh, generic question, but somebody brought it up at District One. Who is the Dem? Oh, Kim Marsh. Who is the Democrat? No, no. Yeah. Great. Ken Marsh. Marsh. Thank you. Marsh. There's a lot on the computer about all of these people. Mm -hmm. If you own a computer, and I think most of you do because I communicate with you by computer, use your computer oh. for sure. Um, do we have another question? Yes, uh, Van Costello. I, uh, oddly, I, I am a resident of Manatee County, so I can't vote on these uh, things, but the question that I have that I think is relevant uh, for people that are running for school board, um, there is a funding vote that Sarasota County has funding the school board that voted on a special ballot election at a time when the property owners are not aware of it. And I happen to know someone who works for the school board as an employee, and he told me that um, the head of the school board, I can't remember the man's name, Lou something, can't remember his last name, but he, um, at least over that department, called everyone to make sure that you vote in that election to kind of keep your job because it keeps funding going. And of course, homeowners, a lot of them had no clue that there was going to be a property tax levy to fund the school board, and they weren't advised of that special election. Uh, so who would favor putting that on the ballot along with everything else when all the voters are there, right. as opposed to sneaking it in as private? Well, they've done that for three consecutive voting sessions on March 15th or whatever, and there's been a louder and louder group objecting to that costly event. I think it costs $5 million to have this stand uh, on the uh, uh, okay. That's true. Uh, Helen? Yes, please. It is true that the special referendum is being held in March. It was supposed to be a one-time referendum. Meanwhile, our taxes now are going up and there's more state money. There's been four referendums. It has cost taxpayers over a million dollars now. However, I understand why it's being put in March. I would recommend and I would bring the discussion to the table that this referendum needs to be voted on before it expires so it can be put even a year or a year and a half before it expires, it's four years. So I would suggest that that vote is held during a regular election because the community is not happy about not knowing about it, not being able about it. Only 27% of the voters voted, okay, 77 agreed, but it's still a very small percentage. So I would work to change that referendum, at least in the regular uh, election cycle. We'll bring that discussion to the table. Amen to that. I agree. <laughs> it is a very important topic, a very costly you know mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I, that's all right, Bridget. <laughs> We did recognize no, you. No, no, no Thank you. <laughs> Your husband did a great job of standing in <laughs> for you. Thank you. I apologize. Would you like to stand up so everybody yeah. can see yeah. you? Yeah. Hi. I apologize. Sorry. Yeah. Um, would, would you I, like to speak? Well, I'll, I'll be really quick then. So I'm just appreciate it because I, I know my husband already spoke, but. Um, and I apologize for my tardiness. I just came from a board meeting now. Um, you know, one issue we were talking about was, uh, I don't know if Christian spoke about it, was the Venice uh, mascot issue, which is, I'm incredibly passionate about. And I, my biggest thing is hearing from the community. And it's exciting, even though it's a topic that I don't, I support the continuation of the use of the name Indian. Um, I like to see engaged citizens. And I love that, um, you know, in a matter of two days, they have, 1,700 uh, signatures on a petition for the continuation. So, um, and so um, I would, 
you know, I have been in contact with a couple of the members who are driving that, and I, I think that that goes back to really what I fundamentally stand for, and it's really just having a voice for the community and letting your voice be heard as a board member. It's incredibly important. You, we talk about the referendum. I completely agree it needs to be on a November election. Um, I think, you know, what, 75,000 people voted four years ago, and now it's down to 35,000. So that's not a fair representation of what we actually feel. So um, there are ways to do it. Helen made a really good point. Um, we can do it two years earlier, or we can look at the property tax increase and start putting money away and save for a fifth, you know, five years and then do it on a November election. There's definitely ways. We just need to bring it up and, and talk about it. So um, I'm, a, I'm a young mother with a, a young daughter, and there's nothing more important to me than making sure that my child and all the children in Sarasota County have a world-class education. We're really fortunate to have awesome schools here, um, but I'll tell you, we, we can do better, and as any business will say, you know, you have 13% growth, well, are you just gonna kick your heels up and put your head, you know, your heels on the desk and say, good job, or are we gonna push harder? So um, that's what I'm about, but again, I'm, I'm all about hearing from the community and really making that voice loud because together we can do a lot. So I appreciate the time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, okay, so right now it actually is not on agenda items. Um, it really was, there. at every meeting um, it's open to the citizens to speak. Um, on July 22nd, a gentleman, um, Serban, South Serban spoke um, in against uh, having the name, uh, he found it offensive to Native Americans. Um, and that, then the Herald Tribune picked that up and then that's when the community became aware of it and rallied together for, in the support. And it's all around the pride of the, of their school. And I think as school board members, don't you want to provide an awesome education and make sure that the schools are something your students, athletes, alumni, and community all support? I mean, that, Venice is a tight-knit community and they're, they're very proud of that school. So, um, and I think it's wonderful to hear the voices of the community. So it's not an agenda item yet, but it has been asked to be put on the agenda. So I, I encourage everyone to get involved. So again, thank you so much. Uh, another show of hands. Marilyn, do you have a question? Yeah, I, I have a question for those on the county, running the county uh, commission spot. And we're losing more and more control through what they call the public-private partnership. So more things that are coming out of the control of the electors. I'd like to know how the issue feel about those, those public private um, partnerships that are going on. You're asking a, gener a generic question the of, of the county commissioners. So, who wants to answer that? Anybody? <coughs> I'll speak to it. Oh, I, I stood up. Oh, oh, oh right. <laughs> I'll get in line behind you. You can arm wrestle. <laughs> 